What's up, you guys? It's Tawny Teacher's T, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I can't believe the episode we just went through. Sebastian full out turned bad. I can't believe it, but spoiler alert, if you haven't gone to see the last episode, pause here, go check it out. All right, we're back, but he killed his uncle, which was horrible. I can't believe that. We were given the option to turn him in and I decided not to because I'm still hoping there's some way, somehow we can help him and his sister Anne. I have no idea, but we have the final trial to get to this episode, so I'm excited for that. Let's get into it. So, Sam Bakara's trial, we will get to that momentarily. But I want to do this really quick. The man behind the moons. I received an owl mail from a Mr. Piers Pemberton, who is frustrated that I've been taking the moons from the demiguy statues. I should pay this man a visit in Hogsmeade. So let's check that out really quick. Okie dokie. Care enough to remove my demiguy statues? <laughs> Pardon me, sir. But about those curious demiguy statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you <laughs> ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. Oh my God. So you did create them. I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl. On your stationery. <clears throat> ah. Well, fitting Moon would enlist a student too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. <sighs> I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Oh my god. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> oh my god. I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. <sighs> Fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Good. Revelia. You can tell Gladwin Moon that is taken care of. There's a quest right here, too. Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty oh. Bogbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I oh. visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. A unicorn. Her coat is glorious. <sighs> well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Oh, no. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. Sure. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, 
I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. Oh. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. Well. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, oh. most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Awesome. You need Remember, unicorn. you'll know her by her brilliant coat. Oh, and be warned, she may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Okay. Oh my god, they're trying to get me. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. I see you! Do. Hazel must be here somewhere. Slow down. Revelio. Leviosa. Let's get the unicorns. Oh my god, it fell. These are going to be hard to catch. Do come up with a Okay, can we get you now? Yes! That's one unicorn. <laughs> Revelia. Where is Hazel the unicorn? <laughs> Hazel? Hazel! <laughs> There's one. Way over here. Leviosa! Are you the lady's unicorn? I don't think you are. Oh great, I'm gonna get attacked while I'm capturing you. Oh. Why am I running so slow? Okay, well you're not Hazel. Unicorns to get. No, too hard. Are they attacking? That's Hazel. This looks like the other ones, kinda. Yes! 
Yes! We got Hazel. Let's go. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. She's safe. Revelio. Did you find my pointy pony? Pointy pony. Madame Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? <laughs> Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. <gasps> do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? I thought she'd want her back for take sure. good care of Hazel now. That's your friend. I'll take good care of Hazel. Quest complete. All right, let's return to Gladwin Moon so we can just tell him we told that guy to stop putting the demiguys moons out. Gladwin Moon. Hello. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguys statues. It was someone you bullied in school. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I unknown? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. <sighs> Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Wow. Awesome. The man behind the moons. Cool. Is it time for the third trial, folks? I think it might be time for the third trial. Okay. Professor Fig will meet me at the location of the final pensive as revealed by Professor Bakar. According to the field guide, it's beyond the shoreline mine to the south. Whoa, Nelly. Let's go to Marinweem. Here? Is that a dragon? Whoa, and look, they're flying like kite. Wait, let's use a little bit of fire. Confringa! Whoa! Whoa! Again! So cool, you guys. <laughs> Are we here? What is this? Oh. Wow, this is cool. Oh, oh gosh. This is very cool. What the heck is that? Cragcroft Shore? You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Wow. Is this that dragon footprint or something? Find the this Kudo place could do with a bit of pruning. Let's look around. A bit of pruning. Confringo! Whoa. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. You do? Do you recognize the head sculpted there? 
that's her head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. Oh. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the oh. Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a graphorn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favour. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Wow. Okay. Let's find the Lord of the Shore. Pavelio. Okay, so this way. Oh, there's balloons over here. Oh. Oh my, something crazy was going on. bones we saw okay this must be the place is huh? we'll go down here oh look at the water oh <laughs> what does it say danger extreme danger Revelio. Is it over? Very well. Lord of the Shore, show yourself. Oh my god! Oh my god, this thing is wild looking. That's crazy. Slow down, slow down. Slow your roll. You are a fierce one. Chill out for a second. Chill out for a second.
is so wild looking. I can't believe it. Whoa! Can we be friends, please? to initiate. Keep an eye on the Grafhorn's stamina meter. Okay. Any baddies? Time to go a little quicker! Slow down now. There we go. Oh. Is this, it doesn't fly, right? I don't think it flies. Oh. Didn't anyone ever teach you not to take things that don't belong to you? You're here. Ah! <coughs> what a pathetic display. Explosive! Explosive! Ah! 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 Ah!
have to turn to return to Professor Fig first. But I guess we're here. Oh this always looks so cool. Oh my god, a car. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Whoa. Revelia! I'm so excited. We're gonna witness the memory. Oh, what's down there? Oh my goodness. Oh, Rayan is falling down? What? That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Look at it. Is there any treasure while I'm here? Any treasure? Revelia. This is so cool. Let's check it out. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Dad! <laughs> Mr. 
look at me. I... What's that sound? I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Oh, Percival. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Father, not my students, no one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> I kill Isadora now? Damn. Way too far with that. Oh. What's over here? The map chamber. We're in the map chamber. Professor Fig. I saw some crazy shiz. Oh, hello, Percival Rackham. The caverns below Hogwarts where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and 
the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four oh. artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. Wow. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's Whoa. intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. My god. Oh my god. Send Bakar's trial. Wow. Okay, let's go get that wand, I guess, from Ollivanders. Getting quest. Wand mastery. Hello! Oh, this guy's awesome. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. Oh. Pacing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Very magical. <laughs> Whoa, her eyes look so... Whoa, her eyelashes are like blonde there. <laughs> it is done. Oh. Beautiful. I should warn you. I've never seen a wand like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm afraid. You're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. No. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Oh my god, mind your business, dude. <laughs> Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? No. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it! Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Got snatched. What? what? Oh, okay. so now we're in a little fighting area. Uh, 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 like, oh. Got a lot of boxes and stuff. Oh. You've made a great mistake. Oh, I'm just keep throwing stuff. Huh? I'll just keep throwing this. Shame. Let me outside. Uh, had enough. Uh, what are you doing? Electricity. Uh, 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 no more happy days for you. That was a mistake. Ah. 
Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what's happened. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That was so cool. What was that sound? Revenia. So cool. Little chest. It's plus of one. Awesome. Is there a little constellation thing you can just knock out real quick? Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Just get this little constellation thing. A castle? Must have been quite stately in its time. Oh. It's more like this. There we go! Capricornus. Cool. Oh my goodness. Hello. Professor Fig. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's Wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you alright? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Oh. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. Hello. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure 
that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. That's right. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Ready to enter it? We can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. Oh, the Keeper's Caverns. <gasps> oh boy, we're inside. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle will protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. Search the area! Must be here somewhere. We must be getting closer. Renrook, we'll be pleased with our progress. Hi, guys.
Everyone's chomping cabbage out. closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos! We're gonna weld. Revelia! Listen, more goblins up ahead. I'm oh, invisible for this one. Wouldn't mind a plug job at Gringotts. Suit me, sitting around all day. Mind you. you like us to tell us. Not your best Nice. 
These tunnels haven't brought us much luck so far. The music is Rebellion. great. Okay, there's something right there. There's this. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. Somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. We shall make quick work of them. Oh. They got this.
no. Oh no. Those things are gonna come to life. before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do oh with it? Oh my god. What do we do with it? Keep it contained? I don't know, you guys. I wish you could tell me what to do, but I think I'm just gonna keep it contained. I plan to keep the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. Okay. I've been thinking. That's good. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Oh. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? Keep it a secret forever, keep it a secret for now. I mean, it's been kept a secret for so long and the keepers wanted it locked away forever. So let's keep it secret forever. The keepers were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand, wow. but you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. Thank you. Happening. Ranrock. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. Oh no. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this. Could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. Whoa. Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either.
gonna do some fixing here. Alright, now we got every color.
Professor. Miriam. Miriam would have loved you, my young friend. The wizarding world could not be in more capable hands. Professor Fig, no! Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, <sighs> providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And, of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, okay. whom we lost much too soon as well. That's a Weasley, please take over. <laughs> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! To Professor Fig! Raise my cup. Raise my cup. <laughs> Professor Fig, we love you! So sad. Oh my god. Ugh. Thank you for your... I can't believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I... wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I... I'll let you know. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well... 
He didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her, and she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. Ominous said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. Whoa. Now it's like spring. The snow is melting. Oh. Wow. I love that. Oh my god, here we are in our bedroom. You guys, that was crazy. Congratulations, you have completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of your school year. With your OWL exams fast approaching, now is a good time to review your field guide progress. Explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storylines and side quests, and complete your field guide as you see fit. We completed it? Oh my god, you Please guys. Please meet me as soon as possible. I received an interesting owl from Joanna Brickell about Harlow. I wonder if we even... I think like... I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the moon calves made. So it looks like... Oh boy. I've thought about what you told me in the Great Hall. I would like to speak with you. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. Oh my god. Alright guys, so... I can't believe we finished the main quest line. I'll take care of those little requests that we had in our mail before I end this off, definitely. So, let's go speak to Natty. Natty! Hello? Harlow's already a goner, so I don't know. Isn't he? Are you ready to finish Harlow? Oh, we finished Rookwood. Okay, let's finish Harlow, I guess. Hi, Natty. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. All right. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Let's do it. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already oh. sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look Whoa. around. Oh. I don't have any Wiganwald. I was just through the ringer, so. Oh, my. Okay, so there's bubbles. I realize at the end of the game that there's bubbles for the color. Oh my god, I'm in a rock. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Expulso! Oh! Can bring them. Ah, there you are. Expulso! There we go. What have you done? The trip goes so down it! Oh my god. What was that? Oh. You will get what you 
Sionai, in it, oh. and her excruciatingly loyal companion. Oh my god! You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests, <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Yeah. 
up, though. Don't die. Damn. Please. Natty's good. She's just in a little wheelchair. She's okay. The ghosts are talking. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? What? Yes, mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, Mother. Whoa. Hello. Hi. Hi. Daddy. Hello. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. It's great to see you. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... Oh. You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts, everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Oh my god, that's Thank when you, for you coming know. To visit me. That's when you it know a game is great. When I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> Literally, she had me in tears. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Okay, so Natty, amazing girl. Let's see, now we're gonna talk to Poppy. Weasley's watchful eye. She wants to talk to us too. Poppy has shown Doran the symbol for the moon calves. I should speak with Doran and hear what he has to say. Let's just check that out real quick. And then we'll talk to Professor Weasley. Okay. Let's get on our bridge. Ooh. Here it is. Oh, the centaur! And you say they oh made it God. after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. 
I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try to kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the moon calves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. Whoa. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Okay. Poppy, are you joining? Yes, no, maybe so? Who am I waving at? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. It sure is. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. It was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So, what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Okay. Put that there. Oh. has to do with the light in the darkness. The light in the darkness. 
I am very confused. I didn't understand. I suspect we all know what lies beyond that passage. And now, I'm afraid I must leave you. Oh. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth Vellia. for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Okay. Let's go in. Ooh. The Gilded Perch. Ooh. They got mer mermaids? Revelia. Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have Can been free the They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Pavelia. This is so cool. It looks like the herbology wing in Hogwarts. Bombarda! Whoa. The flowers are like, jeez. Wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? Let's look over here first. Whoa. Lumos. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. <sighs> Lumos. Confringo. Whoa. Here's the 
Leviosa. But now what? Am I supposed to... Oh, okay. I think I need to hit it with Glacius. Glacius! And then... Incendio! Did that do it? That did it! Of oh my course. god. How clever. Whoa. Look at this place. This is so cool. Little puppy sweeting. Forgot how to come to your track. What was that? Not that one. That's for certain. You win. Chicken. Are the two of you unharmed? I had hoped to return before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I led them here, Doran. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. <sighs> I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elec. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. Oh. Stuff. 
up right here. Don't mind if I do. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. themselves and truly once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that oh. you have my word <gasps> thank you Doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry oh, the mantle. So cute. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Well, so many happy things going on. Oh, she really is visiting with them. Little snidgets. Wow. In the shadow of friendship. Now that some time has passed since the events at the Feldcroft Catacomb, I should see how Sebastian is faring. Thankfully, we have the Undercroft, so let's go talk to Sebastian. Sebastian, are you doing better? Are you behaving? I'm glad you came. Sebastian, I received your L. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry. But I'm glad to know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy. But I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Oh. 
Sebastian, you're doing good, man. I'm glad. I'm glad. Alright. So I'm glad that that turned out the way it did with Sebastian. I'm glad we didn't turn him in. Because it could have turned out so much worse. Now he just does have to live with that guilt of... Killing his uncle, doing those unforgivable curses. I think that is a good lesson for him. And he's young, you know? Don't want to ruin his life. What is this? Rebellion. Alright, I think we talked to Professor Weasley now. Look at this. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Weasley's watchful eye. I need to meet with Professor Weasley in her office in the Transfiguration classroom. So let's do that. Look at it, spring. We're here. Let's go in. Professor Weasley! We've come to say hello. And thank you for helping us. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on. And that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even took it upon yourself to help Professor Black's house elf. How did you- It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. We didn't get every page. <laughs> oh, jeez. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. It seems you've completed much of your field guide. Well done. But you've still a little left to do. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting <sighs> ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Oh. Did we actually take the OWLs while we're here? Do we? I wonder. Okay, the house cup. I should attend the end of year feast in the great hall. Oh my god, you guys. I can't believe this is like the end of the game. Like, I just can't. All right, let's go to the end of the year feast. Oh my god. I'm gonna go out here. Let's wait. <laughs> Oh, is he cheating? Don't cheat. <laughs> oh my god. Unicorn! Whoa.
This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah. And now we can finish the loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey. And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's house... <laughs> Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Oh. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, oh, I'd say, 100 points to their house. <sighs> Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Oh. That's so cool. Hey. 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 God, you guys, I can't believe it. So that is the end of the game there. I loved this so much. It made me want to cry so many times. But where do I even begin? Like, defeated all these bad guys. I'm so sad we lost Professor Fig, but I think still the outcomes were as positive as they could be. So I'm glad with the outcomes of everything. I mean, we kind of helped Sebastian, he didn't get turned in, and he learned a hard lesson. We helped Poppy out, we helped Natty, I love it, I'm so glad. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series, like, it just, it was amazing, and I appreciate all of you that have stuck by and have watched and got to the end with me, that's amazing. I know there was a couple little quests that we didn't get to do. The world was so humongous and I tried to get so many side quests done. Maybe one day if you guys really want it, I can come back and do some side quests. If you ever miss this game so much, just drop me some comments, but definitely gonna not be playing it for a while or this might just be the, the end, you know? What a fantastic game. I'm so glad this exists. <laughs> it really does feel like you're in the wizarding world. It's unbelievable. Please let me know what you thought of the game. I always love to hear what you guys think. And please stick around. I know this game is done, but we'll be doing so many other awesome games. If you have any suggestions now that we've finished this, I'm taking suggestions. I definitely want to do some shorter games now, here and there, maybe some quick little games, and then we can get into story games again, but wow, take it all in. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching Hogwarts Legacy. Again, I hope you enjoyed, and I love you guys so much. Peace out. Bye, guys.